All right, we are back. That is Little Black Dress from Brie Morgan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. And that is the voice of Brie Morgan. <laughs> uh, so if you're just tuning in, she stopped by the show to talk about her new song, Little Black Dress, and her schedule and her music online and... She's a busy, Everything. Busy girl. So much stuff. Yeah, just thank you so much. Um, thank you all for tuning in, and thank you for supporting local music. Um, it's pretty hard to get, unless you have a radio promoter, it's pretty hard to get your music on the radio. So a lot of syndicated shows, a lot of, you know, like they got, everyone's got a, music is very creative, but it's also very much a business. And, you know, it's, so thank you for supporting local music, and thank you for getting me in your rotation. And thanks, Murph. Thank you, Murph. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, everyone, so much. If you like that song, um, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, on my website directly. You can buy it directly from my website. Um, anywhere you find music to download or stream, it's there. It is. And we have been given permission from Merce to keep you a little longer. Do you have a little time? Yeah, I got time. You want me to read some news or what? <laughs> um, I, I don't really have any news to read, but um, we are having some technical difficulties in the studio this morning. Um, thanks to the, the thunder and lightning from last night, or at least we're assuming that's what caused most of it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we are excited to have you and love having you in the studio with us to be able to keep us company and and entertain us at the same time, so it's, <laughs> it's always great. Oh. Um, so, type of music, how would you describe your music when someone comes there to, to listen to you? Um, I mean, I'm definitely a country artist. Heart In, in my heart, I'm just a country artist. Um, but I, I do play a lot of different stuff. I play, I don't play a lot of rock and roll solo. It's kind of hard <laughs> to play rock and roll acoustically. Um, but I do a lot of country, I do a lot of pop. Um, I play a lot of my originals. Um, I would say I probably play like three to five originals a show. I kind of throw them in here and there. Um, I always perform Little Black Dress. I actually have been getting like all my shows, I've been getting requests for that song, which is super cool. It's so cool. I love it. And there's nothing cooler than having a song that you have online. You know, people are like, Brie, are you going to play Little Black Dress? And I'm like, yes. Like, of course I will. How many times do you want me to play it for you? Like... So, um, but a lot of country, and I play, I play everything from, you know, in country music, I play everything from, like, Carrie Underwood to Johnny Cash. So, you know, you're not going to come in, I'm not going to put you to sleep, or, or uh, you know, just, like, I mean, I do play a lot of female artists because I am a female artist, but I do some Blake Shelton and some Johnny and some, what's some other male artists that I do off the top of my head? I can't think of it right now, but, I mean, I do some male artists here and there, but. That, that is excellent. I mean, it, it's great to have, you know, have songs that you can cover and, and kind of make your own a little bit. I've heard some of them myself, so um, it, it is exciting to hear you sing and, and put that little twist on there. And especially with the female voice coming from a male artist singing a song. I mean, it's just amazing when you're able to do that. And um, it does entertain the audience and lights up the audience. I've seen you know, that audience just go nuts when you're, when you're singing, right. so that's great. And then you get to bring in your own music, which is, which is spectacular as well. So uh, congratulations on <laughs> all you. of that and, and everything that you've been able to accomplish in one year. Yeah, um, thank you. I, it's, um, yeah, sometimes, like, I always, when I do interviews with stuff and, you know, when I do interviews with people, it's always like when they ask me, you know, how long have you been doing this? Like, how, you know, when did this all happen? And I'm just like... When I look back, like, my career really took off literally, like, a year and a half ago. You know, I've been working at this for, like, six years, but <clears throat> it really took off, like, a year and a half ago. So, I guess, like, not to get all, you know, inspirational on everyone, but, like, don't give up on your dreams. Because it may seem far-fetched, but I always wanted to do music full-time, and I'm doing it. I'm doing it full-time. And so, who knows, you know, maybe one day... <clears throat> I my goal my next goal is to travel farther so right now I travel all over the state of Wisconsin um, by next year I want to be traveling all over the Midwest and then you know just I just want to go from there I just want to go and go and go and ain't nothing hold me back <laughs> excellent excellent all right and welcome back you are tuned in to 92 now 92 1 FM 
And I have in the studio with me Bree Morgan, hey, Austin's guys. very own Bree Morgan. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. Um, I came back. I am. Um, totally crashed the business after five last week because I used to used to work for Ollie Rose nail salon in town on my nail tech license so Kelly and them invited me out and well and I used you know and I used to work for WRJC and I so I totally crashed the uh crashed the business after five last week out at the dirty turtle <laughs> and it was it was really nice to see a lot of you it was super definitely like I said I love traveling I live down in Janesville now I love I love Janesville I love you know the people there and the the venues I've met and the new you know all the new people but it's nice to come home sometimes it's nice to see you guys it's nice to come home well you're welcome back anytime <laughs> <laughs> especially when we're having some some difficulties and they're like Bree do you want to play another song I'm like of course I want to play another song I always right. want to play so, songs l let's get right to it uh let's have another song from <laughs> Bree and then we'll get back to a little bit more talking. Yeah, so this next song I got for you guys is uh, called Don't Need Your Memory, and it's on Spotify and all that good stuff as well, so I hope you like it. sick of listening to me at this point <laughs> I, I don't think anybody's really going to be sick of listening to you Bri. um one of the things I, I we kind of talked a little bit off air about playing you, you started doing this professionally about a year ago mm -hmm. you only started playing about six years yeah, ago. yeah yeah how did you get started? Did you sit with some guy in a in a small room and teach you how to play the guitar? Or? No, I actually. So I started to. I've always loved to. I've always loved to sing. I've been singing since I was a little girl. Um, I you know I sang in school. I did musicals. So singing has always come super natural. Um, the only voice lessons I've really had was um, in in like middle school and high school choir. We would have 
you know, choral lessons every week, like smaller group lessons outside of our regular scheduled class. And so my choir teacher, and I actually graduated and I went to high school, middle school in Westfield. I was born and raised in Boston most of my life. Um, but so my choir teacher from Westfield, I still use a lot, you know, ton of vocal teachings from her. But instrument wise, I didn't start playing. I played the clarinet for like seven years. I will never touch one of those again. But uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> like instrument wise that I play now, um, I just I started playing the uke first just to get the feel of like strumming and some kind of string instrument. And then my dad got me my first guitar when I was 18 and I tell this story now out of love but dad got me my first guitar and he got me like they got me like this really cheap like Walmart guitar because they didn't know if I would stick with it <laughs> so I tell that story now because it's you know and I get it as a parent the last thing you want to do is like spend a ton of money on something and then your kid doesn't stick with it you know what I mean so but he got me my first guitar when I was 18 for Christmas and I stuck with it. I played my first song for him on Father's Day and uh, six years ago now. And I just, I just watched YouTube. I just watched YouTube and I watched, like, looked up pictures, just like finger diagrams, you know, of how to make chords on the guitar. And I just watch videos and the more you play, the better you get. So even if you only start with, like I was telling you, you only start with learning three chords in the truth, like a lot of country music is. Um, Eventually, you have to learn another one to do this song and another one to do this song. And before you know it, you know so many chords. And um, I can't do, so actually, a little secret, I can't do bar chords on the guitar, which is where you hold down all the strings with your first finger, and then you make a chord with the other ones. I can't do that. My fingers literally, like, don't have, I don't know, I've been trying for, like, six years, and I still can't do bar chords. So don't get discouraged if you can't do something certain on an instrument, because there are there are cheat chords. <laughs> so there's like where you can put like three fingers down a certain way and only play those strings and you make the root of the, the chord that you want to play so it still sounds good. Um, so I just self-taught. Just So now I play, I play the guitar. Um, I play a little bit of violin. I don't play it out. Well, that's a lie. I did play it for a wedding. I played it for my friend's wedding one time. I played Canon in D for her to walk down the aisle. That was the most nerve-wracking thing of my life. I was like, don't screw this up. He's like, this, she gets one chance to walk down the aisle. Like, play it right. Um, I play a little bit of violin. Um, I play a little bit of mandolin. I just bought a mando, like, uh, a couple months ago. Unfortunately, I got it right as my summer season started, so I've played it, like, four times. <laughs> it's, like, in its case. I, gotta, I have to play it more. Um, but, yeah, I just self-taught, just self-taught. I did take a little bit of violin lessons. Um, I've taken a few piano lessons. I can kind of play I mean I can read sheet music so that's from choir but uh gu guitar wise I just looked up some videos looked up some pictures and away I went <laughs> all right excellent excellent well thank you for that information thank you for all the tips for me <laughs> off the air as well um and Thank you for stopping in the studio today. Yes, thank you guys um, for having so me. So if you are just tuning in, you are listening to Bree Morgan here on Now 92.1 FM. Um, and you stopped in regarding your new song. Little Black Dress, yep. yep. And you're going to be playing tonight at Giada's yep. uh, Pizza Yep, in Ball. the Wisconsin Dells. All right. And uh, we can find you where again? So you can find me pretty much anywhere, any social media platform online. Um, would love for you to all to check out my website, which is BreeMorganMusic.com. And if you're trying to find me and you can't find me, you might be spelling my, it's B-R-E-E, -E, Bree Morgan, B-R-E-E, -E, MorganMusic.com. Um, that's on Facebook as well, Bree Morgan Music, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, add me as a snap friend. Um, you know, hit that follow button on Instagram. Send me, even, you know, go to my Facebook page and just send me a message. Let me know if you were listening in, in today. I would love I would love to know if you listened in and what you thought. And if you want to check out any of my music, it's on Spotify and iTunes and Amazon. Anywhere that you can download, um, download or stream music, it's on. As well as my website, you can buy it directly and put it on, put it on whatever you want. I don't have any physical CDs yet um, or anything, but, yeah. Heck, you can Probably download it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Now 92.1 FM. Um, and have a great rest of your day. All right, thank you. And we're gonna we're gonna go back to Little Black Dress one more time. Oh, thank you. I'll play you. that for you on your way out, and uh, we'll we'll get back to.